Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is the three that I already uh, did, the pansy flowers. And what you want to do is, um, I have one ready to go. And I use what's called gesso, just to paint it white to start with, as you see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these three over here. And there's different ver variety of, of these um, ones that you can do. We're going to do this little blue one with the dark blue with the little... Um, the little uh, yellow center you know and th th this is pretty nice too but you can do different things with it you can see the little stripes in there that I put in the highlight that makes it a little more realistic um, you know any way you want to do it it's it, it will be fine um, there's no right or wrong way take a look at a couple of pictures on Google and you'll see all the variety of colors um, that that there is out there. So what I want you to do is I went ahead and I tried to sand one of them. And I found that you don't really need to sand it. Okay, this one's not sanded. This is just cut with a with a knife. This one was cut with a knife as well. And and it's just painted. You can't really you'll see the little bumps here and there, but that's fine. You know that's that's okay and then I painted a little bit on the back as well so what we're gonna do oh um, let me let me do this let me get some paint out here and start mixing some colors up we're gonna paint this this one here because uh, people kinda like that one so we're gonna go with that one we're gonna take our, our we're gonna just dab some of that now that's a little bit too light I mixed up my own blue, um, so that of course is not going to match. So we need to put a few little things with it. I'm going to put a little bit of black with it. I'm going to put that on the side here. And I'm going to just show you. If you mix black in it with with it, folks, it will get a little darker, which is fine. Okay? You just want a little tick of that, not much. See how dark it's getting? It's almost too dark. See, that's not it at all. Let's try. Oh, I don't have any of the red with me. But we're going to put a little bit more blue in there. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and paint it. It might be a little bit different than the other one. That's fine. Okay. And because you have the white gesso underneath it, you could almost do it in one layer if you want but I like to see it done in more than one layer okay then what I also did was did the back here of this particular petal that's got to be completely done okay I come back I'll touch that up a little bit what you want to do is just do that those two petals okay I'm going to put a coat of violet over top of it, or purple, just to help that out a little bit with the color. I'm just showing you quickly how I did it. So you can do this offline. It does take some time. When you mix colors, you can put color on top of color to make different colors. Okay? See, this stuff dries really, really quickly. This acrylic paint that I use, and that's what I'm using. And then what I did here... This is real simple. What you want to do with the center is you want to start a little bit underneath and just kind of pull it out. See how it's giving that little... Just like so. Okay. That's how simple it is, folks. It can be very simple. I'm going to put some highlights in it yet, maybe some purple, uh, another coat of purple in there. But this is my base right now, and so I'm just trying to trying to blend it in a little bit, put, make it a little bit longer there, a bit longer there. Okay. So when I come back, I'll uh, I'll put another coat of purple all over top of it, and you'll see what. Oh, let me see if I can do it now. 
just to show you. This is just a rough way of showing you how to do it. I'm going to take some purple out here, mix it up, maybe put a little tad of blue in there, darken it up a little bit. See how it darkened up? And then we're going to go back over it. Okay? Just like so. See how, see how we've got it a different color already? I don't know if the camera is really going to show that, but it's definitely a purpley color. More of a violet color. And that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to pull that down and around. Just like so. And then when you're done with that, and I'm going to mess with this more as I get offline. I have a couple things. Uh, what you want to do is use your gesso, which, you're, which is your white. You're going to use a little bit of a smaller, um, you know, I'll be right back and show you what I'm going to do to finish this off, okay?